Hey guys, this is Theo Joe Tech. In this day and age, you definitely need antivirus of some kind on your computer. Even if it's a Mac, it's probably a good idea to have antivirus. But do you need antivirus on your phone? That's the question I'm going to address today. Now, the thing you need to understand about viruses is the reason that some platforms have more than others is simply because it's easier for virus makers to get a return on their investment if they make it for platforms that more people use or it's easier to get into and get people to download those viruses. So the reason that Macs have less viruses at least is because there are less people using Macs. So it's much more worth their time to make a virus for Windows. So that's why you see so many viruses on Windows, not as many anymore, but still some today on Macs. And on Linux, there are just so few people that use it that most virus creators just don't even bother making it at all. Now, when it comes to phones, it's a little bit different because pretty much everyone has a smartphone these days. There are millions and millions of them. However, the way that you download programs onto a smartphone is different than you do on a computer. When you download a program on a computer, you can get it from anywhere. There's very few checks or anything like that when you install programs. So it's really easy for a virus creator to get their virus out there. It can just be sent in an email. On phones like Android and iPhone, it's different because you have to download software through an app marketplace. On iOS, you have to down download it from iTunes. And on Android, usually you get it from the Google Play Store, but that's not always the case. And you can also use Amazon app marketplace. Those are the two big ones on Android. But either way, those are gonna be restricted in that every app is supposedly vetted and if it's found that it doesn't do what it's supposed to do or it's it's risky, then it can be taken down off the marketplace so no one can download it. You can't just send an email typically to an Android or iPhone device and make it so you can install that app. That's just not how it works. So there is a lot less risk of getting a virus or malware on your phone. Very low risk actually, but it's still there. So is it worth it to get an antivirus? Well, in the United States, one study showed recently that less than 1% of phones in the U.S. have some sort of malware or viruses on. I think the number was 0.68%, very low. In other parts of the world, it's very much higher. So I would say based on your region, then you might want to consider getting an antivirus. If you're in you know, Eastern Europe, Asia, that kind of area, then probably is worth it to get a antivirus. I don't know why the figures are higher in those areas. Maybe the marketplaces are different, they're harder to control over there. But if you're in the US or you know Central Europe, it's probably fine to just not even have an antivirus. You'll also see that most mobile antiviruses have extra features built in because the creators of the antivirus know that, well, it's not that worth it to have antivirus, so they throw in extra little features, like you might see password backups or phone theft prevention or call log blocking, stuff like that, just to add to the make it worth it to download it because the antivirus aspect isn't as valuable as on a PC or Mac. Also, another statistic that you might find interesting is a study from 2013 showed that 97% of viruses and malware were on Android phones. So if you're on an iPhone, you're probably good no matter what. I wouldn't even bother downloading an antivirus if you're on an iPhone because from what I understand, iTunes and the that marketplace is a lot more strict in what they allow into the marketplace. Google Play is a lot more lenient, so a lot of times what they might do is not catch malware until later and by then the damage might already be done but supposedly apple is a lot more strict and they might just you know reject an app just because it's not useful enough so they definitely look more into it that's not to say that the google play store is bad obviously they vet apps too they scan everything that goes into it to make sure that there's no known viruses or anything on it so you're reasonably safe there too and also, if you're using Amazon Marketplace, they do all the same stuff. And it's just having all the apps registered is a huge 
safety feature because it kind of pre-filters any of the obvious viruses. Now this was assuming that the virus is gonna be from the app marketplace, but if that's not the case, then there are very few other ways to get a virus on your phone. Like if a virus, you know, somehow makes it so you are able to install third-party apps from not the Google Play Store, that's one way that you'd be at risk. So I would only download from known marketplaces like Google Play or Amazon Marketplace, or on the iOS, you don't have a choice. If you just stick to those marketplaces, you're really at such a low risk, it's probably not even worth it to have an antivirus, but it wouldn't hurt. It certainly wouldn't hurt. So if you're very security conscious, you know, you can download an antivirus on your phone. If it's a reputable company, ESET, Norton, there's a ton of different mobile antiviruses. And my final argument is pretty much that, is it necessary? No, you don't need an antivirus on a phone. Would it hurt? No, it would probably help. If you ever happen to get a malware, a known malware, then yeah, it would be able to help out. But by then, you know, known malware is probably going to be the one that gets picked up from the pre-filter anyway. But as I said before, if you're outside the low risk areas like Europe or North America, it probably would be very worth it to get an antivirus because you're at higher risk. And that's just pretty much my thoughts on it. If you guys disagree, feel free to let me know in the comments and explain why and I'm sure we can have a great discussion down there. If you guys want to interact with me on Twitter, I'm always on Twitter all day, especially after I release a new video on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So you can subscribe for new videos three times a week. Should be worth it. And if you want to check out some other videos on the right-hand side, you can either click them or look in the description for the same link, such as if you're on a phone. And if you found it helpful, you can give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Look forward to hearing from you, and have a good one.